Hi right, everyone, welcome back to another MX Bikes video, and today we are on the KLX 110 here. And I actually wasn't even planning on making this video right now. I was gonna do a KLX 110 versus CRF 110 hot lap battle here, but I hopped on the KLX 110. I was like, wait a minute, dude. I I don't remember this bike parking this hard and having this good a suspension and being this cracked as you guys can tell. Oh my god, this KLX 110's insane, you guys. So today I was like, dude. I kind of got to just make its own video for the KLX 110, you know. You guys, we are on Midsummer Carnage here. It's got some power to these here, dude. We're going to be absolutely sending it. The goal is trying, is going to be trying to lay down a decent lap. Um, I, I don't know what a decent lap for the pitters is. So maybe it's going to be a lot slower since it's a 110, of course. But I'm thinking anything under maybe a 55. But like I said, you guys, maybe a 50, under a 55 for the KLX 110 might be good. Like I said, that might be... I'm asking too much out of the 110. I, I haven't done any hot laps on this bike or laps in general here. So let's see if we can't spin some laps on the KLX 110. Oh my god. Yeah, like I was saying, let's see if we can't spin some laps on the KLX 110. Maybe lay down a decent lap or two on this thing. And uh, get a feel for this thing here as we case the hell out of the good old finish line. They're definitely not part of that plan there. Let's go inside here. Nice. Oh, I, the one thing with these 110s, as you guys can tell, they are pretty loopy. If you guys have rode the 110s in this game, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but like I said, you guys, we've run under a 55. That'd be pretty solid. Let's go inside here. This is a horrible lap right here off the rip, but, you know, let's just finish it to see what the lap time is. Um, a lot of mistakes, as you guys saw earlier in the lap, but let's just see what it is here. Are you serious? A 52 off the rip? I didn't... And that was a horrible lap. I, I didn't think this KLX 110 would be capable of putting in... Not fast of a lap here. Hold on. Okay. We got to lay down an actual heater on this thing. We might be able to run into the 40s, high 40s, maybe like a 49 on this thing. Um, that's going to be asking a lot out of the KLX. 110, though. Oh, my God. Yep, another huge mistake right there on that lap right there. Let's see if we can't get all the way up over that from the inside. We can. There we go. Okay. But we should definitely be able to get into the lower 50s, maybe like a 50. I don't know. Um, but let's run some laps for you guys on this thing and see what we can't do. Up over the finish line there. We just got to be really careful to not want to loop this thing here because she is a wheelie beast like I stated you guys here. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, big mistake right there. Let's go inside though. We just got to be really nice and easy on this throttle, especially coming out of these insides. Otherwise, we'll go right and do a wheel stand. Jump onto this. And we'll get all the way off of that. There we go. Grab fourth up over this double. We're going to go really far inside here. Oh, no. We clip that a little bit, jumping up onto that little mistake right Oh my god, up over that double. Let's go inside here. We're gonna case this a little, aren't we? A lot of bit, actually, not a little. Damn, that's gonna cost us a lot there. So, uh, let's go inside here. Up over the table. Yeah, still a couple of uh, mistakes that are gonna cost us a good lap time there. I mean, we'll still probably want run a 51. Yeah, 51.5, but. So multiple mistakes right there that cost us. Like, if we get a really good run through this inside, carry a lot of momentum, we can get over that table easy. That'll save us a lot of time right there. And then jumping onto the table from the inside, up over here straight ahead of me, almost if you can see where my guy's at right now, right up onto that right there. We did clip it a little bit with the rear, causing us to lose a little bit of a uh, little bit of momentum there. But yeah, I, I feel like we could definitely, if you get the perfect lap. 49 is doable. I, I know 49 is doable on this thing. But like I said, 49 is definitely possible. If I could get this lap time down to 50 instead of a 51, I would, I'd be okay with that. You know, like I said, obviously you could run a lot better if you put in a flawless lap. But if we run a 50, you know, I, I'll take that. You know, on a KLX 110, you can't complain, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, dude. Just trying to keep around two wheels, boys. And focus at the same time. Get over the table! Oh my god! No! Uh, fuck!
Get all the way over the table. There we go. Fifty point eight. That only took a little bit. <laughs> so you guys, yeah, fifty point eight. That was an absolute trash lap, in my opinion. For me, it felt absolutely trash. Um, we're gonna do some third person as well, you guys. But if you guys check this out quick, let's go into orbit here. I made a ton of mistakes on that lap, but I mean, for a pit bike, um, and then through this inside here, we actually greased the table though from the inside, which you love to see on the KLX 110 here. Around the outside, we didn't hit that very fast at all because I didn't come in with the best corner entrance there. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't a good lap, but like I said, it wasn't horrible. I mean, it's a 50.8. You could 110% on the KLX 110 here, this bike, run a 49. I know it's doable 100%. If you hit a flawless lap, maybe a 48 as well. Like, but that's got to be flawless. Um, but, yeah, you guys, let's do a little bit of third person on this thing. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, like I said, you guys, I do kind of want to run a better lap, you know, without any mistakes, but... It also took a little bit to get that lap because I am not used to how loopy this bike can be. So uh, sometimes it was just wanting to loop really hard and I was getting a little frustrated. So I'm just like, screw it, you know. But if you guys would like to see me try a little KLX 110 versus CRF 110 hot lap battle, let me know down below. I feel like that might be sick to see which bike is actually better in MX bikes. But that would be sick, I feel like. But as you guys can tell, this KLX 110 absolutely barks. I mean, I did mess with gearing and swing arm length and stuff like that. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, you know, just coming in here, trying to spin some hot laps on the pitters or even do some other bikes. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys enjoy these type of videos. And if you enjoy them, I'll definitely do more types of videos like these. And um, yeah, also, like I said, if you guys like CG and bike or anything on this bike, let me know down below. But we're kind of, kind of tossing her in third. We're not barking. We're just, <laughs> we're just tossing it to say the least here. But we are sketch in third person, dude. Let's go around this outside here so we can get all the way over this table in third person here. Yeah, this little KLX 110's kind of gnarly. I mean, we're not doing horrible in third person, you feel me? We're not doing horrible here. Oh my gosh, bro. You can absolutely toss it on this thing. Can we offer it? Oh, that was horrible, you guys. I, I apologize for that. <laughs> Rip, bro. We're going over the corner. Oh, my gosh. But, you guys, this KLX 110 is pretty fun. Even in third person, you know, um, it's a bit of a beast. Like I said, if you guys want it, um, I'll probably leave a link down below if you guys want to try it out. It, it's an absolute freaking beast. Probably one of the faster pitters that we have in this game besides, you know, the 450 horsepower pitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that thing is just... It's on its own level, dude, if you know what I mean. Let's we'll try to bark here for a second, you guys, on the good old KLX 110 here. Obviously, we're probably not going to try to put any heaters. Just bark a little bit on the good old, uh, good old KLX 110 here. Can we triple this? We're going to go up a little bit short because I didn't hit the corner the best there. Do we save it? Dude, see, the KLX 110 actually has relatively solid suspension. Like, this bike's actually kind of cracked. I'm not even going to lie, dude. Holy hell. Around that ass there, dude. Just, just taking her nice and easy up over this table here. Still absolutely insane as we are going to land too flat off of that. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. KLX 110, pal. And you want to know the one thing, you guys, about the KLX 110. Uh, since it is kind of loopy, you can throw backflips really easy on this thing. Check this out, you guys, right here. Like, real easy, as you guys can tell. Oh, my gosh. I thought we were over-rotating, but we saved that. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. Top back on track on my KLX. I'm gonna try to absolutely bark here for a second. Let's see if we can't just rip. Over the double, try to clear the um, table from the inside here. Oh, gonna case her a little. Didn't hit it the best. Okay, pal. Cased her more than a little to say the least. Okay, and we're looping her out. Unbelievable right now, dude. Let's go into third person here. We weren't doing bad in third person a second ago, so maybe we should bark some third. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to be sketched now. 24-7, huh? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely tossing it. Oh, my God, dude. How are we alive on this little KLX 110? Backy this. Hey, that was actually kind of clean, dude. I'm not going to lie. That was actually kind of clean, dude. But, you guys, I, I think we're going to wrap it up there today, checking out the good old KLX 110 and showing you guys how OP this thing really is. Can we jump all the way, triple up all the way over this here? We can. We're going to grease that. Yep. Um, if you guys did enjoy, like I said, drop a like and sub down below. It does help the channel greatly. If you'd like to see more types of videos like these, let me know down below. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See all you guys. Oh, also, also, real quick before we head out, you guys don't forget to check out the Real Life Riding Channel. Links will be down below. I got some very awesome in-real-life riding content coming up on the Real Life Riding Channel, so you guys stay tuned over there. 
that's a wrap. Without further ado, you guys, I'll see all you guys in the next video, boys.